This uh, is a 1968 Travel Queen. There's only a few of these left in existence. I saw one on Craigslist many months ago. And it's a shame it was a couple states away. Uh, it had some kind of blue glass inside. It was almost identical to this, but it, it would have been nice to have another one. Being that they're very rare, I've looked this up over and over and over uh, online, and not too many people were posting other than a few pictures at some, some uh, you know, like RV type of sites and stuff. Right, check this out. I'm going inside, it's kind of messy. I got all kinds of stuff in here. <laughs> yeah. Foreman's office, huh? So, this is the mess I have going on in this 1968 Travel Queen. The wood's in relatively good shape. Uh, the stove I swapped out from another camper because the one that was in here was the wrong size. Let's see, somebody tried to clean the rust on the nails at one time with something. I could probably sand that out. But you see, they stopped here. But the wood's in really good shape for 1968. No fridge. The one that wasn't here is outside. It's not a propane or anything. It's just a storage type of fridge. I put all these mirrors in here for a little extra light that some hotel was throwing away. I got mirrors everywhere. Uh, this is the bedding area. Somebody had painted the front end of it. But I really got a mess in here. A water tank out of another thing. A little toadstool. But this is what it looks like. And uh, this is the off grid property. And uh, I'm just trying to get away from electricity, utilities, all that kind of craziness. Once I get a well done, I'll probably have a windmill on it because during the day here, winds kick up for a couple hours. Uh, it'd either be a solar well, which I've seen on some farmers' properties, or it will be a windmill. Old school. I hear Charlie the horse down there. Anyways, there she is, 1968 Travel Queen, only a few left in existence. Till next time, I'm out.